Last time we talked about making a child theme in WordPress using FTP, editing the files locally, and then sending them up to your server. Now I want to show you how to do it using File Manager from cPanel. And I've got a site here called phasergames.com, which I haven't developed much yet, so it's good for our testing. And I'm using a Cyber Games theme, but I'm going to switch it to the default 2016 just for testing purposes. And so now when I refresh that, I just get the, the basic black and white theme that comes with WordPress. So now let's make a child theme out of that. If you go to your cPanel, and this is using GoDaddy, but it's pretty much the same in most uh, web hosting, you'll have some place that you're able to access your files. And here it's the file manager. I think it's right there. And then if you have a lot of sites, like I do, it'll have a drop-down, and you can choose which site that you want to edit. So I'm on phasergames.com there. I hit OK. And now I have a list of all of my website's files. And the folder you want is right here called WP Content. It's where all the themes and plugins for your WordPress site live. So double click into themes. And 2016 is the one we want to make a child out of. So we start by making a new folder. And the button is up here in the corner. New folder. And whatever we name this folder is going to be the name of our theme. Because it's where WordPress is going to look for it. So since it's a child of 2016, I will just call it 2016 child and create the new folder. And then you go into that folder and we may need to make a new file. And this is the only file that's actually required to make a child theme. And it's called style CSS. And WordPress always looks for style CSS inside of any theme folder. And if it's not there, it'll break and it'll stop. So type that in and create new file. And then select it. And then up here we have several editors. And I'm going to use the code editor. And then this just pops up about the encoding. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and press edit. We've got a blank file anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I will put this code for you to copy and paste on the website, and it is still in the last video that I made. The same code is there. So there should be a link under this video that will point you to the, the text and the code for this example. And this is all you actually need to make the template, the style CSS, is the theme name and the template. But if you want, there's a lot more extra information that you can put in there too, especially if you're like making a commercial child theme to redistribute. You want to put all that extra information in there. So let's go back to our file editor and we just paste that in. Now I've already filled in a lot of these things as an example, 2016 child. If you wanted to do a different theme, just change all these 2016 to whatever the name of the theme is. If it was Munster theme, Munster child theme is then the name that you want, or whatever you want to call it. You don't have to have it the name of the parent. It's just good practice to do that. And the template name has to be the name of the parent, the one that you're making a child theme of. For example, let's see here. If it was uh, corp Corpo Box Light, that is what you would have to have in here. It has to be exactly in the same format as the folder. So if I go up one, 
Corporal Box Light right there is the name that you would have to put there. Exactly as it is, because that's the, the folder that WordPress will look into to be able to get all the extra stuff that it needs, the HTML and the other CSS file from the parent. So we save that. And we can already see that we have the child in the themes right here, 2016 child. But if we activate that right now, I'll go ahead and activate it. You'll see that it has no CSS whatsoever. It's all just blank HTML. And the reason for that is it is using our style sheet now here that we just made, but it's not also using the parent one. For it to use the parent one as well, we need another file called functions.php. And let's edit that in the code editor. And copy this code into your PHP file. Save it. And if we go back to the website and refresh it, we can see the CSS has been restored. And now we can edit this without worrying about disturbing the parent theme. If we make mistakes, we can always go back to the original theme. Now to change it, you can go into your editor, which is under Appearance. And here it is. And if you want to edit a different theme, you just select it over here on the right. Now I can then go take something like the site description. I'll just make sure that that's the right tag there. I'll right click and inspect in Chrome. And I can see that that one particular tag has the site description as a class. So then I can go into the editor in my WordPress admin section and say dot site description dot for class color blue and then I update the file refresh the page and now I can edit any of the CSS without having to worry about when the theme updates and overriding any of the work I've done so that's how you make a child theme using File Manager in cPanel. I hope this has been helpful for you, and thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more, just please subscribe.